All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike. So today I got in the mail two packages. Uh, one was an eBay purchase right here. I already opened it up. And the other one is my CBCS submissions from East Coast Comic Con. There's 10 of them in here, and we're going to go through them together. First, I'll start off with this one here. Um, very excited to get this book. Uh, just because I just I recently did a submission through New York Comics to get John Romita Sr. on a few ASMs. And uh, they're in. They're just not with me yet. They'll be here shortly. So I'm excited to get that. And uh, this is a book I needed anyways for the run. This is ASM number 49. It's got an awesome Craven on the cover. And it has... Um, um, the vulture appearance, uh, but the second vulture, but uh, not not tombs. But anyway, it's really cool, and it's a uh, CGC, and it's a it's six point and it's got that awesome John Romita Senior autograph. So right as it stands right now, this is one two, this would be number three, and uh, I got three more coming, so that's six. So I can't wait to show those off to you. All right. So uh, plus the new one's going to have the new Spidey labels. It's going to be awesome. But there's my 6.0. Real nice looking cover. And uh, that's my money grade right there. I love 6.0s, 5.0s, and Silver Age. So that's that. So let's get on. Let's get crack a lacking And I'll open up this box here. I haven't done an unboxing in forever but I'm so excited I just figured I would just record them now I know the grades already I've gotten that notification and uh, oh shit let's just see what we can do here and they pack it like that you know what I really miss about CBCS is that what's in the box um thing so oof, there it is all nice and bubbly wrapped so, you know, i'm just gonna toss this off to the side and uh and that's that yeah what is that huh so it's all taped up I if i can do this you know what hold on a second you guys hate unboxing so just just hold on all right i'm back so there's, like I said, there's 10 books in here. There are, if I recall, there's five George Perez signatures. There's one Denny O'Neill. There's an Al Milgram, Rubenstein, Michael Golden. Two of those books. There's, eight. there's a Joe Sinnott. I can't wait to see that one. And a Michael Cho, I believe. Yes. So... We're going to go first book right here. Um, so they, don't, they have nicer bags um, than, than CGC bags. Um, what else? When was East Coast Comic Con? Like four weeks ago, five weeks ago? And they're already back? Remember when it was taking seven months to get books back? That's why I stopped doing uh, CBCS because it was just taking so damn long. But now I'm, I, you know, I've never had an issue with them. Now, now the, you know, the return time is great. So let's just check it. All right, so I have this. I, I'm looking at the backs. So let's check this one out. Ah, look at that, Micronauts number one, a nine point six. It's a newsstand. And if I can get this in here without some major ass glare, we've got uh, we got Rubenstein, we got Milgram, and over here we have Michael Golden. Well, that's awesome. So this is first appearance of uh, Bug. Boy, I don't even have my glass. I can't read this shit. Baron Carza. Rubenstein, L. Milgram, Michael Golden, 518, 2019. So that's when East Coast Comic Con was. 
Dave Cotton cover. Oh, wow, that's awesome. So I bought this one really cheap for like maybe 15 bucks off of eBay as, as a new stand edition. And when did this book come out? 1979. So uh, the new stand really doesn't matter all that much from 1979. More of a direct edition would be more prevalent, more popular for that particular year. But very cool to have that one. All right, I'm gonna get nervous. Cheers to y'all. All right. Oh, nice. 9.8. And this is the Michael Cho variant. Uh, this is Amazing Spider Man number seven. It's right there in that beautiful blue paint pen made by Sharpie. I love that AG blue. Oh, it just matches his uh, his outfit. His, oh, that's awesome. Yes. Ooh, he has a beautiful one. I can't wait for this one. Oh boy. Um, it's a thicker book. This is going to definitely be Avengers versus JLA, and direct sales. Original price was $5.95. And I've had this one for a little while. I'm going to look at it first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Witness signature, George Perez. Boom. 9.8, baby. Look how beautiful that came out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fucking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, they didn't give me a bag for this one because it's a thick book. It's a thick case. Little bastards. Not a bag for it. All right, let's go with another one. All right, you're going to see it first. Oh, wow. Look at that. A 9 6 Thanos Legacy. Signed by George Perez right there. Whoa. Hmm, very cool. All right. Oh, I think this is the book I've been waiting for. I think it is. Battle of the Behemoths. All right, here it is. Ready? Bam. Seven freaking five. Fantastic Four, number 112. Beautifully embellished by Mr. Joe Sinnott. Damn, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. So this is my second copy. I got another one up on the wall over here. That one's made out to, to me. It says to Mike. And it's a, not a 7.5 for damn sure. Holy shit. I am excited for this. Oh, that's awesome. So it's a John Bishema cover. John Bashama and Joe Sinnott art. Oh man, that's awesome. A 7.5. All right, here's the other one. Bam! 4.0. Superman number 233. That iconic Breaking the Chains cover done by Neil Adams. This one here. Um, not in the paint pen. I he just he Denny O'Neill he, he's a little bit older and uh he just kind of grabbed it and he signed it crooked and all that shit. He should have went with the lines, but um cool nonetheless. I know this is Big E's favorite book, favorite Superman cover. He loves it. And I know that Neil Adams hates this cover because he was unhappy with the uh the feet. It's kind of like Rob Liefeld feet. Yeah. But wow, that is really neat. So you got two really great Bronze Age books. Um, both came out in 71. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, two really nice Bronze Age books by two amazing, uh, well, one amazing artist and one awesome writer. So... 
couple more. Two, three, four more to go. Ready? Let's just. Ooh, check that out, huh? 9.2. So, funny thing is, let's get this one. Let me just put these off to the side right here. I want to show you this one right here. I had bought this already slabbed. And I cracked it myself. As you folks are looking at my head. Is this it? Nope. Now, hold on a second. All right, so this book here, this, this awesome 9.2, um, if you notice, it is not a newsstand. It's a blank over here. They call it a Whitman's variant. All right, came back in 92. So I bought that. Uh, this one's slabbed already. So here's the old case. Bring this up front here. So this one came back at a 9.2 with a check mark, and they called it um, Marvel 3 pack. And did they put it on Whitman on there? No. But they, they gave me that check mark before, all right? Which means that the book looks better, presents better than what the grade actually is. The grade's a 9.2, but it looks better, like a 9.4 or 9.6. And now it comes back straight as a as a 9.2, but it comes back with those awesome signatures on there. So that's interesting. I hate the check mark. I would rather just have the grade of the book, which I just got. So that's cool. All right. Where did I put this video? Yeah. Ready? Boom! Yeah! Look at that. A 9 8 Wolverine number one, signed by George Perez. How freaking cool is that? Yes. So it's George Perez cover, Andy McDonald, and Jerry Dugan. Nice. Infinity Watch number one. What an awesome looking cover. That's just so cool. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, yes. A 9-4? Nine, nine no, I already knew it was a 9-4. So I'm going to look at the see what the grade notes say. This would have been higher if I would have just sent it off the E-Rod. And I didn't send it off the E-Rod, and that's my fault. Um, so this is Death of Spider UK. And Spider-Man Noir. Huh, I didn't know that. But it's a George Perez cover. Jorge Molina art. And, I don't know, Crystal's Cage story. Let's check it out again. Signed right there. George Perez. Oh yeah, that's awesome. You give a fuck what the greatest on that one. That's just awesome. And finally, my last one. You ready? Bam! 9 6 uh, Crisis Infinite Earth number 7 Death of Supergirl. Look at that. Look how awesome that came out. Oh wow, it came back in a 9 6. I didn't think this was going to be a 9 6. I really didn't think that. Um, I got a bone up. I'm better at grading older books. Yeah, this book came out in 85. It is older. But I'm better at grading. I guess I'm better at grading books with more damage on it. Let's call it that. Um, wow. All right. Yeah, so the cool thing is uh, you can go to CBCS on their website. You can type in um, that serial number right here. You know, these serial numbers. And you'll get all the graders notes. So, wow, that's awesome. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, that's just my bill. Uh, this is something the comic link. I don't know anything about that. And just the, uh, the pink receipt. So. I spent a lot of money that weekend. Um, that's it. 
So let's just go over it real quick again. We got a 9-6, George Perez. We got a 9-4, George Perez. Oh, yeah, love it. We got a 9-8, George Perez. Wolverine, badass. We got a 9-2, Micronauts. Triple signed. Again, Golden's up here. Rubenstein and Milgram. Uh, my, probably my favorite. This 7-5 right here. Fantastic 4, 112. Signed by Joe Sennett. This one here, this is funny. Um, the Superman 233. I bought this off New York Warriors auction. Off of uh, James Hayes. King of the Golden State. 25 bucks. He said it was a reader copy. No, my friend. That's a mid-grade copy. <laughs> uh, Thanos Legacy. Number 9-6. Uh, number 9-6. Number 1. We got 9-6. George Perez. Probably Big E's second favorite book. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm in love with this one. We got 9-8. We got an awesome 9-8 on the Mike Cho. And the Micronauts again. 9-6. Just missed a 9-8. A 9-8 in this book. CGC 9-8 goes for like $250 or $300. I just missed the money on that one. Still awesome though. Still wicked cool to have three sigs. Very neat. So that's it, guys. Oh, and don't forget this. Yeah, I got this awesome John Romita. You know, so that's all I got for you. Until next time, I will definitely talk to you all.